Okay, YouTubers and anti-nuke activists, this really will be a very quick video. <laughs> you just don't know. I went on for 12 minutes and had to stop the video. <laughs> okay, sometimes I can't shut up. Okay, look. I, Hattrick Penry, state hereby before the almighty Yahuwah, the divine creator of all creation, I want to shut down all nuclear power around the globe. I'm vocal about it. I make no bones about it. I'm open, and I, I'm very uh, uh, open about that, okay? That is my position, folks, period, end of story. I tried to join a coalition against nukes yesterday, and here's what Star Priscilla said to me. Quote, I see that you want to join a coalition against nukes, but I must tell you that Arnie is a friend of mine, and I created this group. My response, so you're not really anti-nuke. Got it. <sighs> Folks, what I've been saying is that the anti-nuke movement is a hoax. Most of these groups are a joke. They're not really about shutting down nuclear power, because if you were, if you were, I have assembled a box of ammunition, metaphorically speaking, that I call the silver bullet. It's called Plume Gate. It's everything contained in these NRC FOIA documents. The same ones uh, being critical of me now and trying to slander me, they ignored this stuff for years. You, we even sent the information to them and they chose to ignore it. Now that we've uncovered this blockbuster bombshell evidence against the conspirators, against nuclear power, proving alternative media is a hoax, proving these anti-nuclear figureheads and websites and groups are complete frauds and complete hoaxes. And how do I know that? And how can I prove that? Because I've proven it, but as far as I'm concerned, multi multiple times. I uncovered them when I wrote about Plumegate and I showed that, hey, this massive multi-agency cover-up that's going to leave millions of Americans dead, and it's provable, provable in these court-certified documents, they're ignoring it. Even when you send it to them, Alex Jones, I send them out to everybody. They ignored them, okay? And that's how I know when you come up with information that is incriminating of criminal acts of the government, of industry, of the political structure, you name it. And when that information is ignored by people who claim to be doing what? A service to the public. They claim to be reporters. They claim to be investigators. They claim to be the press, but they are not. Billions of dollars are at the disposal of the nuclear cartel. They are not just sitting on top of a mound of money. They are hiring people to sway public opinion. That's saying it nicely. That's saying it nicely. Okay, so I'm going to leave you a uh, list of these. I've added a couple to this list. Please go back over it again because as I continue to refine, I will add to this list. And I just want to show you in this list that what I've been working on since February 2012 that help from Shazam and from Maureen. And this is what we've been able to extract from these documents that I, again, I say very clearly, I wanna keep this video short, groups like Coalition Against Nuclear that won't allow me in them, they have connections and ties to Arnie, they're all working together. It's called a Troll Den Shill Network. In this case, it's a, it's a nuclear, uh, they pose as an anti-nuclear uh, movement and groups, but they're not, they're not. They won't give you the information, they gatekeep, they'll give you a little bit, I mean, occasionally Arnie Gunderson will say something bad about nuclear power, but on the whole, they're keeping you from reading what is on this list, okay? I can't make it any simpler than that. And if you want to find out if someone is really legit, okay, forward them this list, forward them a link to my book, which is free. I make no money off of this at all. Always free and always will be. If you really want to change the world, you'll live in a cardboard box and eat rice to do it. Nah, serious, seriously. So... Forward them these, this list, ask them if they're legitimate, and start asking these people questions why they won't report on this, right? Ask hard questions. And if you don't get legitimate answers and they can't give you a legitimate excuse, all I can advise you is this. Please rethink your methods and your strategy and your tactics for acquiring information in the 21st century. Considering how much money our adversaries have at their disposal, you need to think about what they can do with that money, okay? And I should probably end with this, I'm sure I'll butcher this, but Upton Sinclair said, it is most difficult to get a man to understand a thing when his salary depends on him not knowing it. Okay, understand that. A lot of these people, Alex Jones, Arnie Gunderson, Lucas Hickson, uh, Maggie Gunderson, all these people, okay, Busby, Calvica, they all know the truth. They all know the truth. It's right here. I've presented it for them. The silver bullet to shut down nuclear power. But if you're profiting from the other side of the fence, you have a problem springs up, 
Okay, someone's profiting off that problem. Let's look at cancer industry real quickly. Cancer is a problem. What is the treatment? It's very profitable. You have one system that springs up around the treatment to profit from the problem, and the other springs up to try to stop the problem, but as soon as it realizes it's very profitable to sit there and act like you want to stop this problem, you have a job forever. If you just act like you're working to stop cancer, you got a job forever. There's no incentive, point being, to cure cancer. There's no incentive to shut down nuclear power because money is being made on both sides of the argument. The pro-nukes are making money, anti-nukes are making money. And guys like me that refuse to accept money are in between looking around, trying to wake people up and saying, look, the whole system is screwed. You better stand up and help me now because if not, money is who hires the speakers. Money is behind these people. Money, money, money. Think of it like that. All right, folks, read this list over, memorize it, and start posting it around on all the anti-nuke sites and post it to the anti-nuke figureheads and send it to Alex Jones and Info. All these guys, pepper them with this because if you want to shut down, again, if you want to shut down nuclear power, this is would be my advice. Okay, Patrick Penny. Y'all have a great day. Over and out.